Just looking at foreign investor activity yesterday, we see that foreign is moving to the sales side of the market. Uh, that a concern uh, is uh, for, for some, uh, but overall, what type of activity have we seen from foreigners on the local market year to date? Yeah, we, we did see um, a lot of sell side activity. I think um, they're just taking uh, profit on those um, equity, uh, on those uh, counters that they feel have already given them some sort of return, and um, also realigning their 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 holdings towards uh, most probably the banking sector because we have we we have results coming out very soon, and they might want to also cash in on that. Um, as we go into the next month. So I think um, there is just a realignment. It's very speculative behavior. So I, I don't think it's an, a cause for concern uh, per se, considering that uh, we do feel that um, the way, the mature way in which Kenyans um, actually behaved after the ICC announcements um, has actually given investors a bit more confidence that uh, we are actually you know, we have a lower political risk rating right now. Yeah, that is good news for the market. Just looking at some news flow this morning, Kenya Airways coming through with a quarter three trading update. A 9% rise there, or 9.9% rise there in volumes uh, for the third quarter. And it just shows that that route expansion and increased uh, flight frequency is really paying off for the airline. Well, yes, they have been doing quite well. Um, what I'm... Uh, trying to figure out is when they're going to do this cash call. I mean, we've been, um, it excited the market towards the end of the last year, and then suddenly it's off the radar, and um, the market really needs something to excite it. So um, in as much as we do have, or we have had the, the, the CEO of the Nairobi Stock Exchange, uh, Peter Mwangi, saying that um, he does expect there to be some, uh, about six IPOs this year, I think that uh, we do need to see some actual activity for the market to actually feel that excitement. Uh, primarily because local investors, especially the retail investors, are very inclined to, they're very IPO and dividend driven, and therefore the market um, gets excited when such things happen. Yep, there is so much uncertainty around that, and that's what really seems to be keeping the stock on the back foot. But fundamentally, it seems that the airline is making a strong headway right now. Yes, and I think, um, you know, those results could be also a signal that um, they, they, are probably feel, they, they were probably waiting to announce, you know, how their, their performance has been before they actually give us news about what's going on about the cash call. So I, I do think that um, fundamentally most companies have actually been doing quite well. I know that there's going to be, um, you know, a bit of a squeeze on net income margins for, say, the banking sector, especially now that interest rates have gone up and maybe we're going to see a bit of a bit of a hike in NPLs but at the same time I do think that that usually has a lag of about six months so their year end is going to be quite good as well so I think fundamentally we are going to see some very strong results coming through. Uh, Kennel Coble on the sales side of the market yesterday foreigners seem to be dumping that stock just looking at uh, the outlook for uh, Kennel Coble uh, in light of the fact that the Kenya Petroleum Refineries Limited has been granted a merchant refinery license and essentially this means that Kennel Coble can now go to other international refineries to source its oil. Just give us, uh, give us an idea of what this new plan uh, will mean for Kennel Coble going forward. Well, I think uh, for one, Kennel Coble is very well diversified across the region and that, um, that is a very good thing for them. And I believe that um, Kennel Coble is actually positioning itself to be the leader in, uh, in, 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 um, in, in downstream in distribution of fuel in the country. So I do believe that um, the fact that they can actually source from, from you know, further out there means that they can be able to look for cheaper or more cost-effective alternatives, which is also going to work in their favor. I do believe that um, Kennel Kobil has performed quite well in the past one and one or two years, and I think that um, in the, as much as we saw a lot of the activity on the sell side, I think that 
it's really the fact that fuel prices are coming down and uh, maybe investors feel that this will hurt the you know the distributors uh, bottom line which yeah. is fueling that activity with, with energy security in the spotlight right now and uh, oil exploration at underway in the country uh, what is the potential from your perspective uh, in terms of uh, finding oil in the country and helping to reduce that big energy bill that Kenya still has well, um, we have seen a lot of activity in both Kenya and Tanzania, and I think um, a lot of uh, test oil, oil, oil wells are going to be dug during this year. So I think um, we are about to get there, and I believe that, um, you know, w w Kenya needs a break. I mean, we have, we, have, we have been hoping that this will actually come through for us. The, the one thing that I would like to, to see happen is this pipeline that's coming from South Sudan, because I believe that if we have um, such a major pipeline coming through the country, and I think Uganda will also opt to build their pipeline through Kenya, then we might be able to, you know, to get cheaper source for oil, which is definitely going to do Kenya's, um, you know, Kenya, Kenya's balance of payment a lot of good.